And Albuquerque home is in a historic part of town, and it's marked as culturally significant, but the Neighborhood Association wants the city to tear it down. This home was built back in 1906, and it has the styling architecturally of that time, but it's starting to show its age, and neighbors want the city to do something about it. Here's the paint has faded, windows are broken, the roof is falling apart, and the front porch looks like it's barely hanging on. Those are just a few of the noticeable issues at this house off Arno and Pacific in Albuquerque's South Broadway neighborhood. Is this the kind of reputation you want in your neighborhood? The Neighborhood Association says the abandoned house is an eyesore that also has become a safety concern, and they're asking the city to tear it down. It's a fire hazard. There's, there's, there's no better way to describe it. It's dangerous. And the, the, the neighbors are worried that if this house burns, their home will go with it. But they worry that since the home is designated as culturally significant, it could prevent the city from stepping in. But the city says otherwise. It doesn't really change uh, the, the way code enforcement handles these with any property, whether it's historically significant or not. The city says with houses designated as culturally significant, there are more hoops to jump through. But overall, they want to work with the property owner to correct any wrongs before they consider condemning it and before they get to their last resort, demolishing it. We want to do everything we absolutely can do uh, to make sure that that home gets back into a, a productive use. But for people who live in the neighborhood, this historic house has lost its luster. Seriously, you, you want homes that kids can be you pass down the street and be be proud of their neighborhood. This doesn't give us much when we see houses like this. I'm, I just, just would like to see it torn down. That was Rachel Knapp reporting. We reached out to the owner of that house. We did not get a hold of him. The city says that code enforcement will be at the house tomorrow to inspect it for any violations.